Hi guys, uh, from uh, Black Forest I have today with me a great friend of mine, uh, Terry Brock uh, from the uh, United States and he is an expert in social media. He is the guy I learned so much from in how to handle um, the community, how to uh, produce content and so on and so on. Terry, tell my audience a little bit more about you. Um, how can you help my audience with? I mean, what, what's, your, what's your expertise? What's your field of where you really excel at? Well, first of all, it's great to be with you, Raphael. You are one incredible guy, and I'm really honored to know you and uh, get a chance to work with you. And I work with a lot of different people, individuals, as well as organizations, helping them to use tools like social media, like video and other areas. What we really like to do is take the best of the technology that's really relevant and then combine that with time-honored principles. So you put it together and you got the best combination. Right now, we're in a world where it can be a little bit scary going forward. A lot of people feeling overwhelmed. But I think if we have the right mental attitude and we deploy the right tools in the right way, then we're able to succeed not only now, but for whatever kind of uh, conniption fits that are coming along down the road a little bit. Right, right. And what I like really about, um, I took a course of, uh, um, uh, you offered, and what I really liked about it was packed with a really conc concrete knowledge and a lot of tools. So. Can well, you, you tell my audience maybe two or three tools you would recommend uh, to use in this area of content creation maybe and also social media? What are the, let's say, the most proficient tools or the, the tools you would recommend to use right now? Well, there's several that are out there. And first of all, today, it's really good to be alive. I mean, uh, Raphael, you picked a very good time to be born because now we've got more opportunities than ever. And I think that uh, having a knowledge of what they are and then which tools to use at the right time can be helpful. One of the tools that I use more than anything is right now the tool that you and I are using as we're recording this. It's called Zoom. And Zoom right. is a wonderful technology for video conferencing and a whole lot more. And even though, you know, I've, when I'm past... Uh, chief enterprise blogger with Skype. I worked with them, loved them, great company, wonderful people that were there. I kind of tend to lean towards Zoom right now and what it does because like, you know, all we got to do is just click a button, boom, and we're recording it. That's very nice. And then you can do things like sharing your screen, etc. Another real advantage though, is that we can get transcripts of it. If we record this to the cloud, we get a transcript. And matter of fact, interesting as we're recording this now, just yesterday at Zoomtopia, their big conference out in California, they announced that they will have simultaneous transcripts so that as you speak, your words are transcribed wow. right there on wow. the screen. I didn't, I didn't know about the trans uh, transcription tool in, uh, in Zoom. It's, uh, it's really good to talk to you once in a while to find out about the newest, uh, you know, the, the, the newest trends or the newest features in the, in the tools I actually use already, right? Oh, okay, well, what yeah. about the uh, other tools that you use? Uh, like Zoom is really good for video recording, like interviews. Um, you can interview, actually, this is like wonderful. It, it wasn't, wasn't uh, possible like 10, 20 years ago to interview anybody on video in the world anytime you want, right? Yeah, exactly. It's really nice. And you know, a really nice thing about it too is before, you know, if like for instance, here, I'm going to grab my smartphone here uh, using this. We could record a little bit, but often we would start recording. And then what would happen is we'd fill up the SD card or whatever. We go, oh no, I've got too much on there. You know, I got to erase some, got to transfer it off. I've got to do this. We don't have to do that anymore. What we can do now is we can take it on our smartphone we click, we just tap a few buttons here and we can send it to the cloud. So that way I could talk for hours, literally doing a recording on my smartphone and be able to send it to the cloud. And then there it is. It's, I've got the audio, video, and a transcript that gives us the ability to do, like in your great book on uh, the billion dollar secret. Uh, I love that. I can take books like that. I can do interviews, creating books that way, creating content by having the transcript available. And right, then you can go back right. to the editing and the things like that. Yeah, so I guess I, another tool that I, I mentioned would be... I spent so much important. time, effort, and money in those, uh, for those transcripts because I was using manpower, actually, to transcribe my, uh, my interviews, right? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, Zoom is one tool. What uh, maybe, uh, 
maybe, maybe another tool that you would recommend, maybe something about productivity. I mean, Zoom is also about productivity. The transcriptions is an example of that. But let, let's say everyday productivity in social media, what would you recommend there? There's several tools. In matter of fact, many of the tools come down to apps that we use. Those apps that are available, I find several that are really good. One that I particularly use, regardless of what tool I'm using. Matter of fact, here I'm going to show you my other. I'll be a little bit geeky and nerdy here because I've got the two phones. I found that having two cell phones gives you the ability to get a lot more done because one of them for me is iOS, my Apple. Uh, and then the other one I've got is my Android. So that way I can be bilingual, you know, be a little bit in, in the technology. And I find that gives you an advantage because often we'll run our, out of battery power. And it's nice to have another phone you can jump over to. But even more important than that is I like to have two carriers. Here in the United States, I'm using T-Mobile and I'm also using Sprint because I why, find when I'm in not? one area, okay. yeah, one area, it might, Sprint might be good and T-Mobile not, and then reverse it in another. So I would say a good tool would be to have the apps for these kinds of things, have the, the two um, phones. And one of the greatest apps is the ability to do dictation. Like with uh, many different phones on the Android side, we can use the, uh, the Bixby and we can use others to start recording. I can uh, tell my voice in there because think about it. We can talk faster than we can write or faster than we can yeah. type. So that way, when you get an idea, you want to increase your productivity, increase the amount of in, uh, content that you create. Well, by talking and having it transcribed very quickly, you're able to get a lot more done. And instead of focusing on, oh, I'm typing away. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, oh I'm making another mistake. Well, if I could just learn how to type, now you're focusing negative energy into I can't type versus trying to get those ideas out there onto the smartphone. And I think those are good. By the way, are you using very much with uh, dictation now, Raphael? Uh, not really. I was using uh, for, uh, apparently dictation, I mean, for my interviews, but... Um... You know, I always struggle. Maybe I am like outdated uh, somehow then to organize these ideas. If I uh, dictate them uh, uh, to search in these ideas, this is somehow, you know, what I use is actually, um, I use kind of structured notebooks for in my computer. So I can, um, so to say, design a structure, uh, some, some something like a tree structure where I type the, uh, and let's say the titles of the articles or uh, not, not necessarily of the let's say um, uh, snippets information snippets uh, the title and then I can have the details of the information and then I can search in that and uh, it's easier to somehow to find uh, my way there and to process it later on um, with dictation I would need to have transcription with that immediately probably you have it uh, um, and I just I, I would need to, to try how it how it works. You know, it's always difficult to to start with some technology because you don't know how it, how it somehow uh, you don't understand how what the implications are, whatever. So uh, I haven't been using that, but this is uh, certainly a, a very good uh, advice to. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why you have me as your friend there. Yeah. We're able to help you out and work with you. I've worked with a lot of people through the years, and you were kind enough to be in our program that we had on Fund Your Freedom, showing people how to use these technologies. And I find that when I can start dictating and it prints it out, wow, that is amazing. Now, it's not perfect. You know, come back and see us in the year 2030. And in the year 2030, it'll be a whole lot better than it is right now. But still, it's very good. And I think that's good. And probably one other tool for a third one would be Evernote. I find that Evernote is very good for capturing those thoughts. And when I can dictate into my phone and I can say, I just had an idea about working with Bob and he can do this and tell him to look for the blue widget or something like that. I can talk that into an Evernote and then give it a tag on okay. things to do or action steps or maybe something, uh, so things to do for Bob. If Bob is a client of mine, I could put that in there. And I find that that combination usually is the way that you get ahead. It's not just one tool, but it's right. using and deploying several of them creatively together to accomplish the goals that you want. Yeah, I just realized, you know, I owe you so much because uh, thank, uh, thank to uh, Zoom, I was able to interview some more billionaires that I met before for the book. But then I got also um, a video interviews that are, of course, um, let's say, um, impactful in the personal branding and helpful uh, when you when I had my uh, book um, 
book uh, pre-launch or book launch, then I, I had these materials, right? Uh, because for some people, the visual uh, is more, uh, somehow more tangible or more accessible than uh, the, the written uh, content, right? Yes. Okay. So I think uh, it's good to be, have that a variety of tools and a variety of ways that you can approach it because you just never know exactly what's going to happen. Okay, wonderful. This was actually, you know, you, um, you stole me the, the answer for the question because I was actually, uh, I wanted to ask you about some strategy uh, you came across in productivity, but let's, uh, l uh, let's change it a little bit. Uh, maybe about some strategy in social media. What about that? Uh, do you, what are the best strategies that you came ac across in social media? In handling social media, maybe in productivity in social media or performance in social media. Uh, if you could reveal one or two, uh, this would be great. Yes, and I think in social media, kind of step back and look at it, this is where the world lives today. People are hanging around social media and there's various platforms. They each have pros and cons. They each have certain strengths and weaknesses. So you want to find what works best for you. I find that social media helps me to stay up to date on what's going on. And the real strategy, the real benefit of being a human being is you get closer to people. The key word is social. It's not about business. It's not about broadcasting or blasting a message. You ever hear that? People say, I'm going to blast out an email. I mean, who wants to be blasted upon? You know, we don't want that. Right. Instead, we need to connect with people and find out where they are as human beings. And the beauty of it is, Raphael, as you know, I can take this smartphone here. I can take this, I can make video that is going to be acceptable in any television station in the world. It can go out to the world with audio and video quickly, very low cost, if any, and we can change the world for the better. Governments are looking at that going, whoa, we got to get control of this thing. They can try, but it's like, you can't stop it. Pandora's out of the bottle. You know, the, it's there. We've got the ability now to use it. So I would say with social media, most important thing is find what works right for you and then get in there regularly using it and making sure that you're able to help others by deploying the right kind of social media in the right way. Okay. Uh, what about some um, trends in social media? I mean, you are really, you watch this scene or this technology closely and you certainly know more than, you know, most of us. Um, well, where do you see the future of it? Uh, where is it heading and what are the trends that, uh, let's say, um, how would it look like in five years uh, from now? And if somebody is in content creation, if somebody is on social media, like uh, in, a, in a business way, uh, what are the, the things or the trends we should look at right now in order to be there in five, five years in, in to, to position uh, uh, ourselves uh, rightly to be to be there in five years. Well, it's hard to say. I wish I knew for sure. Five years is like an eternity <laughs> in what we do with social media. I can, I'll do. I will make a prediction here. I'm going to go on a limb and say things will change. How's that for my prediction? You know, <laughs> now that's the limit of my predictions that it will change. But I know I'm pretty safe on that. But I think one of the trends that we're seeing right now that's very important, and this is where those of you that are watching this, think about this and how you want to improve these skills. More than anything, the dominant force is video. Video on Facebook with Facebook Live. We're seeing now LinkedIn Live coming about. It's being deployed in certain areas, and it is really strong because with video, in a way, I feel it's like here you and I are thousands of miles away, but it's almost like we're sitting across the table from each other at a coffee right. shop, and we can connect that way. With video, you can do it, and what you want to do is use it a smart way. Be creative so that what you're doing is not just one talking head on here like this, and then you get that terrible B word boring and we don't want that at all what you want is give variety so that i can say well here's this and by the way let me share my screen with you now click 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 and you can show something really interesting like here's an interesting article did you happen to see this and i show that article on the screen and it can do very well to help people to connect and then you come back and give a comment on it or like you and i are doing right here interviews with people so you have something that's a variety there. And the nice thing about this is because in using Zoom, we can store it to the cloud, and then I can just send a link for all of the files that are created, audio, video, and a transcript, different angles, et cetera. I can send that to a virtual video assistant 
who can then process it a certain way that I've specified, right. and it comes out professional and looks great. I see those are some of the trends that we're looking at in social media, and it's uh, getting stronger all the time. Okay, Terry, you gave me so much value today, and uh, as always, and I, I'm sure you can provide a lot of value for my audience. Can you tell us where they can find you, how they can contact you if they have any questions, if they need any help uh, in these areas, in uh, the area of content creation, social media, and so on? You bet. Well, thank you very much for asking because uh, that's going to be important. Well, there's so many different channels out there. I'm on a lot of different social media channels. The best way would be to go over my website. And the website is terrybrock.com. And that's spelled T-E-R-R-Y. And Brock is spelled the right way, B-R-O-C-K. So terrybrock.com, you'll see all the information there. And uh, let us know that you saw it on the interview here. And if I can help you, those of you watching this, you have a question or so, by all means, ask me. I'll be happy to help. I love doing that for people. Okay, wonderful, Terry. Thank you so much. And uh, see you guys um, from Black Forest or from the United States, depending on which screen uh, you're watching right now. I wish you a fantastic day today. Let's do something extraordinary today.